Hello guys, welcome to the tutorial. I'm Tomuka Swan and I'm gonna be your teacher in creating your very first Godot Web3 game using Solana SDK. Making your game rich in Web3 features and hopefully not pump and dumps like this game is going to be. So, if you're here, you're willing to learn. So let's just jump straight into it. What we're gonna do here is in 10 episodes, we're going to create a game called Pump and Exit. In this game, uh, Solana price is going to have some base level and it's going to drop to zero. And your goal is going to be to get to ATM machine and cash out your money before it dumps to zero. Are we clear? If so, let's start. The, the very first thing that you will need to do is to download Godot Game Engine. I do have it already downloaded, so I'm going to skip this step, but you will definitely need to do it. And also, I have provided a sample, so in the description below you will see a link you can download the, the project sample, uh, which is going to get you started quickly. There are a couple things uh, there in the project that I have already set up, because they fall out of the, um, out of the scope of the tutorial, so you will be able to learn it, learn it on different tutorials. Pump and exit, you're, you're going to be able to download this thing and you can drop it into your projects or whatever, uh, whatever else. So, pump and exit is this game. And, and once we have it ready, let's open up Godot and import it. Import the game. So, we have to go to our path. See, this is all my Godot projects. Let's find uh, pump and exit and project. And let's open it up and see what are we working with to start off. All right, so this is how the game looks like. The two things that I have prepared for this uh, tutorial is the Steam. It's nothing too fancy. It's using grid map. So if you want to learn how to build your own kind of these uh, these maps using uh, blocks, you can do it by following grid map tutorial. There's just a couple of things and you just block out things um, in this way. And there's also a player here. A player is this invisible creature right here and it has a player script see player this is the player scene and there is a player script so uh, as you can see it all starts with this node this is the game node this is your game scene and it has directional light which you can turn on and off see world environment uh, and also grid map this is this map and also a player these are nodes these are like objects in your scene and if I save it as a scene I can drop it in and like have another player in here see so it's kind of like a saved scene which has a camera inside it and it also has a shape which is collision shape so that we later on will need to collide with objects and this is very important and this player as you can see just has speed acceleration it all comes from the player script and the script as you can see right here it's a bit complicated it would take us a lot of time to make so i'm just not going to do that okay but basically all it does is this check this out i'm just gonna go into the game really quickly so this is uh this is the play button it will allow you to go into the game And this is what we have, see? With WASD, uh, we're able to walk around, and with the, with the mouse, we're able to look around uh, the map. Pretty simple stuff. This is what we're, we're working in. This is the sample. So, if you got it already, you should be ready to explore and jump straight into the first tutorial where we're going to start cooking. See you around.